This is Sandy Lemke from ThemePartyQueen.com. Today we're going to learn how to create address labels using three programs, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Office, and Avery's free label software that can be downloaded on this page. If you're not familiar with the Avery company, they are responsible for manufacturing just about every size label you can imagine. Uh, I use their products mainly for addressing envelopes. Uh, I know other people use their labels for DVDs and CDs and other such things, but what you want to do, um, this is a free download. If you want to create your labels using this software, which I highly recommend, you come to the Avery website and what you want to look for is this Avery Wizard for Microsoft Office. I'm not going to go through the actual download process, but you just want to learn, you know, hit learn more and it'll take you through what type of download you need for your particular uh, type of computer and that kind of thing. So you'll download that first and then what you're going to do is you're going to come to Microsoft Excel and what you hopefully will already have is a list of all of your addresses that you want to create labels for. In my case what I do is I have six columns first name, last name, street, city, state, and zip. I highly recommend this format because I like to sort uh, I keep the last name in a separate column because I like to sort my addresses occasionally and it just makes it easier to do so by last name but you can do it however you want. Once you do that, once you have your spreadsheet you can highlight in Excel all the la or all the names and then go tools if you go into your tools menu and you've downloaded everything correctly you're gonna see this Avery wizard button on the tools menu so you click that it's gonna open up a dialog box and you just go through this welcome screen next what you want to do here is you want to select the number for the stock that you have every Avery product has a number on the front of the box my mailing labels that I use are number 5351. You can either search for it, if that makes it easier, scroll down and search for it, um, pick it, or just you know stick it in there and search for it. Mine is right here though, so I'm just going to say next. And there's a few different formats that you can use. Because I like to use my own um, column layout here, I always select this blank one so that I can add in the fields that I want. What you have to do on this screen is fill in the fields from here to this blank label uh, one at a time just so it knows what kind of layout you want. So the first name goes first then you hit add field to layout. The second name or last name goes next add field to layout then city whoops and we needed a, um, a break in between there then city uh, then what you want is a break again city state and I like to have a space between my zip codes so then I go zip code so now you've got one that's laid out from here what you do is just say next and it's asking you how do you want your labels to appear on the on the stock do you want person one person two person three this way or do you want to fill it across I usually fill across so it's person one person two person three like that so I say fill across now you could print preview here in this Avery software but I always wait till I get into Microsoft Word because I just find it easier to view as well as adjust make any adjustments to margins and things like that so I skip the print, print preview here and I just say finish now what it's doing is it's actually creating the labels for me and it's going to open this in Word. We'll take a minute and there, boom, there they are. Now if you look at this, it looks like everything is laid out perfectly. What I want to make sure that you do if you use this process is that you get in the habit of hitting Print Preview over here because sometimes they will not be laid out correctly. Even though they visually look right, you know, if just looking at this screen, if I hit Print Preview, sometimes the labels are cut off like they did this time sometimes they'll be cut off on the bottom I have no idea why it does that but sometimes it does if that happens to you I have figured out a way to fix this what you want to do is go edit select all so that all the labels are selected then you can come up here see this increase and decrease indent if you hit increase indent once or twice it moves everything over so that hopefully if you print preview again everything is lined up and it worked for me this time so I don't know that that's gonna work for you I don't even know if that's gonna be your problem it seems that every computer is different um, and then when you couple it with every label being different it's you know you've got to finagle these sometimes but hopefully that will work for you then from here what I recommend is you're gonna just go file print what I recommend is that you just print the current page 
get one page of labels on regular paper printed and make sure you like the way it looks. If you like the way it looks, then what you want to do is you want to load your stock into your printer. Most of the time, most printers require you to put the label side down in the printer. Uh, you want to do that and make sure that you get that right or you're going to burn through too much label stock. So put the, put the stock, you know, stock down first. And they also tell you if you're doing multiple pages, um, fan the stock a little bit to get some air in between the pages so that they don't stick together. My preferred technique is rather than load, you know, three or four pages of la labels all at once, I usually um, load one and then print page one, load two and print page two. I have just found that for whatever reason that makes it easier uh, and avoids, uh, you know, messing up too much stock. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Again, this is a huge time saver both for party invitations, holiday letters, and any other kind of mailings you like. Uh, visit ThemePartyQueen.com. We have tons of other information for parties, uh, hosting parties, and um, also there's a video there on how to design your own invitations. If you want to do that, you can design your own invitations in PowerPoint. Thanks and have a great day.